Coming to you from Colonial Plaza, the home of Bulldozer Power, and it's the third in a series against the Lingo Blend All Stars. Uh, one change in the Bulldozer Power lineup. Uh, Julius uh, Hardware is in. Steve Murray is uh, is feeling a little bit winded, so he's having a sit down. Bubbly merchandise will be pitching for us today. The series is tied one to one, although the uh, the run difference is very much in the favour of the All Stars, who will be up to bat first. And it's Flapjack Nope, who uh, we're seeing again, and, uh, and uh, that's that's good to see. Yeah, that's it. No, just keep it keep it simple, Bubbles. Uh, he'll either swing at it or he won't. Just don't get don't get into yourself. Uh, that'll be that'll be fine. Uh, and he scores himself a base hit. Okay. All right, just it's all fine. It's all fine. He's good against the inside pitches. Is Dave Caustic? We shall endeavour to not throw inside pitches then. As much as I do like them, um, we'll, we'll sling them a little bit more outside Ian, and see how he gets on with that. Nice pitch. Uh, right, okay, first curve of the day. Let's... Oh, that was rubbish, but... No, 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 no. Do it again. Pretty much the same thing, but land it in the right place. Oh, dear. No, he couldn't hit that either. All right, fine. All right, let's throw him something else. Try, try a change-up... Swing into the outside. No, no. Oh, it's just wasting my time. All right, uh, just, just. Oh, okay. Right down the middle, huh? Would you get these batters? Come on, just flipping. Would you please? That one's got a murky. He's going to throw a second and get the pick off there. Nice. Okay, only one out, but that's okay. We uh, we killed off the the advancing runner, and that will do nicely. It's Chief Auto Parts. Uh, and he's uh, he's not batting brilliantly this season. Try the three. close, but no cigar. Uh, the pick off to second there, not quite happening. Uh, stolen a base. I hate him. Again, no, you, you, your instincts were all wrong there. This guy's going to steal home if we're not careful. Uh, let's be careful. There you go. That's out number two. Nice strike out there for Bobby Merchandise. Um, good job. That leaves us with uh, Justine Vanderpol. And you see now, even though that dude struck out, he uh, he did good work for the team. Um, and uh, and that's that's not what you want to see. That's that promise of flipping anybody. Oh, bubbly. Well, uh, the, my my fielders there completely let me down on what should have been an easy out. Uh, instead, it is the lumbering pitcher who was left to try and uh, try and deal with the runner, and that was that was just never going to work. Uh, anyway, it's uh, it's Christopher Biscuit now who's uh, who's facing off against Bubbly Merchandise. Uh, see if we can't fox him in one of those. Not so much caps lock. Nothing doing there. Straight to third, please. Come on, one more out. One more out, please. One more out. Uh, giving up a run is it I mean that's that's part of the game but uh, just just let's get the, let's get the out Zoltan's coming in this is gonna be another run by the looks of it nope they've loaded the bases it's fine it's fine look even if they get a grand slam here what we will not do is let it phase us all right we're just gonna play the game we're gonna get it done bubbly's a good pitcher and therefore uh, we just want to, you know, keep her confidence up, support uh, support her with some solid fielding, and uh, and we should be we should be golden, should be, but uh, whether we are or not, who's to say? We walked them. Oh no! All right, okay, and the uh, the control has started making noises, but it does seem to be responding throughout. So thanks for that there, uh, PC hardware. It's not you, it's me. All right, just so you know. Yeah, we walk to run. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I thought we, I thought we were going to try and not get uh, get Bubbly's uh, head out of alignment. Well, yeah, I know there is that. It's okay. Is there pitcher? All right, just keep it simple. All right. I mean, give her stuff she can hit, and it'll probably be an easy out. But you never know. All right, okay, and uh, one of those. There you are. That's it. Put it away. There you go. Right. Okay, not the ideal opening uh, opening defensive run there, uh, but as long as we can maintain our composure and don't be too stressed about it, that's the important thing. Yeah, Cindy Vapid, everybody. Nice one, Cindy, but it's gone a little bit wide. 
Other than that, that was a nice uh, that was a nice hit. Two strikes now. I right, expect this one not to be on target. All right, we're taking no chances, I see. Okay, fine. All right, Cindy, standing your grounds. That one's possible. It's possible, but I don't think she's got the legs for it. No, she hasn't. All right, well, Cindy Vapid soaked up a couple of pitches, but she's disappeared from us uh, for the time being. Here's Kojak Mister on. Oh, managing to not swing at a pitch. That's solid. She's out. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't quite, couldn't quite get to grips with that one. Here's Ulysses' failure. This is a this is an important game for us to win. I don't think uh, I don't think we're in a strong position right now, but we're we're not going to be disheartened. Not at this stage. Shouldn't have swung at that one, dude. Just saying. But uh, it's all right. You carry on. You be you. Shouldn't really have swung at that one either. You're going to be out. All right. Okay. Nice. It's fine. We can take something away from that inning. Four runs against us, fundamentally, but we can. I mean, we can still take those away. There's, there's no harm in that. Uh, uh, Bubbly has, has lost a little bit of confidence, but then giving up four runs in an inning will do that to you, uh, particularly the opening inning. Bubbles, stop trying to be clever. Just throw in some pitches, and we'll see if our our, our fielders can actually step up and, and make the grade, even slightly. Yeah. I mean, if they would stop just fouling stuff out all over the place, that would be helpful. Thank you, Rudy. And there's one away. Good. Well done, team. Good work. I'm bigging you up. I, I believe in you, all of you. You're, you're all highly valid and valued members of the team. Ah, only just outside. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. There you go. All right. There you go. See, now if he fouls it early... We're okay with that. It's only when they foul it when they've already got two strikes that it bums me out. Go on, Murky, get it. Earn your salary. That's the ticket. Uh, it's Chief Otto Putts. He has a contact bonus against right-handed pitchers. Well, there's nothing much I could do about that. Um, so I'll just pitch, and then he can he can use his contact bonus in, in whatever suits him best. Yeah. I think the important part of the, of the pitching process is to keep it varied. Keep them guessing. And you might get somewhere. Murky again with the throw to first. Good times. Well done, people. Good work. All right. Okay. Let's see if we can't chip a run or two away at their, uh, at their lead. That would be super if we could do that. That would be excellent. We want to feel like we can come back here and, and not have quite such a large target. That's a very nice hit. Ah, just wide of the line. All right, come on, Jack. You need a good game here, man. You need a good game. Come on. That's the ticket. That's got plenty of speed on it. Plenty of height. Eat that. Jack Mercury finally delivers something that is worthy of delivering. Good. Well done, Jack. Good lad. All right. Get back in the game, son. Back in the game. Get your head in order. Here comes Zoltan. And, uh, I mean, I was thinking uh, during during setup for this game that maybe, maybe Zoltan would be better in a slightly different batting position uh, as he currently, he's, he's occupied the number five spot for ages. And, uh, and I actually see no reason at all to move it. Why did you swing at that? Oh, you clown. Oh, with, with three balls against you? just foolish oh well no, that's okay all right it's julie hardware yeah we do hate him uh as much as i'm bigging up the team there's no getting away from just how loathsome julius hardware is and that one's gonna drift sad sad that's a shame that would have been a that would have been a pointer right at the fence he just stands there and gets out well done julius Love you to bits, you useless goit. Here's Rudy Capslock. He's batting 500 this season, uh, which is which is pretty good. Although it has to be said that uh, he only really came into the lineup uh, last week, so uh, so he had a, a relatively a relatively solid first uh, first game. Where are you going with that? No, we're good. All right, go on. Too low. Too. All right. Okay. That's fine. Chipping away. Now we got we got a run, and that's that's fine. Oh, I'm staying positive. You can you can just ease down there. Here's Justine Vanderpol. Uh, Bubbly's confidence has built back up again a little bit, which is good to see. And 
and uh, immediately gives up a base hit as these things happen. Yeah, I was saying about Zoltan. You know, he's locked in the, the number five spot in the uh, in the batting order. He's had that, I think, since year dot. Oh, no, 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 no. He had the uh, he had the position of hate opening batter for a while because he was unsuccessful anyway. And I thought, well, he we might as well stick him at opening batter and get him out of the way, given that everyone's unsuccessful at opening batting position until Cindy Vapid got stuck in there. Um, yeah, I know, it's a true story. Uh... And I thought, no, he's he's good there. Uh, I was thinking of perhaps switching him with uh, with the boy Mercury, uh, who's uh, who's been blown cold, but the boy Mercury just hit a home run. So I don't know whether or not this amounts to uh, a hill of beans. Nice strike out there. That was good. That was good. Uh, his poems. He's a stealer. Yeah, he may well be, but uh, let's not. Uh... Oh, he's, he's felt that one. Has he? Yeah, oh, yeah he's, he's felt that with his big glove. Whew. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, the pitch was off targets and he's in a good mood, so man, what are you going to do? Um, all right, okay, well, that's undesirable. Uh, here's uh, Jenny J. Sonar. And, uh, and we now have to we have, we have to dig deep here, I think, to, uh, to bring ourselves back into the game. Bubbly, just remember playing as a kid, Bubbly? And how you, you used to just do it for fun and you used to just you used to just love being on the field. Try and get that feeling back. Don't be downhearted about it. This is a no-pressure game for us. Yeah, yeah, it's against our number one divisional rival and therefore it would be great if we could win. But at the same time, it's uh, it's all fine. You know, it's just, just breathe in, breathe out, be relaxed about it and enjoy the game for the spirit of the game that it is. Julius Hardware has got that one and the side's retired. An unfortunate home run given up there, uh, leaving us with a, uh, a now a five-run deficit. And it's Mars Muller who's going to hopefully get us back in here. Well, we don't need to be in, Mars. Just get a base hit, mate. That's That would be lovely. All right? Don't feel like you've got to do it all yourself. Take the pressure off your shoulders and uh, and just, just do what feels natural. That's good. Yeah, yeah, that felt somewhat natural. I mean, you took your time getting to first there, but you did manage to do it. Here's Bubbly. All right, Bubbles, no pressure at all. We may not swing in the slightest. Let's just see how these pitches come in. All right, okay. Yeah. I mean, because sadly, as a pitcher, you hitting a home run, even were such a thing to happen, actually wouldn't affect your mood in the slightest. Uh, it's, only, it's only pitching results that can make you feel better as a pitcher. That's nice. She's going to be caught. She's not. Okay. Um, yeah, well, uh, that's... you love to see it. I should have possibly gone for home there, but I'd, I'd, I'd started running back, so I used up more time. A, a double there from, uh, from Bubbly Merchandise. It was super. Hopefully that's, that's going to inspire the rest of the team now to, uh, to maybe get something going here. And you see, Cindy hesitated before making the swing. And, uh, was, was planning to leave it, and then it was a perfect pitch, and so she swung at it. That's the ticket. A Cindy Vapid Classic right there. And that will get us another run. Cutting the deficit to just four. Hey, good stuff. Here's Kojak Mister on. Uh, Danny Cyanide, their pitcher, is uh, is getting a little bit weary. But not so much that it's really affecting her game at the moment. Alright, can't Kojak. Let's, let's have something good from him. Oh, and they're, they're going, oh, that Cindy Vapid, she's a cheeky one. Kojak's put that well. That's gone. That's gone good. And there's another run. Oh, yes. Oh, bulldozer power not done yet. Uh, his Ulysses failure. He's, uh, he, he had a... He contributed well in the last game. And, uh, and it's kind of what we want to see. It always feels like he should be contributing more than he does. And yet his, uh, his batting average remains moderately solid. I think you're gone there, pal. Yeah, you are. If everybody had stayed on base, we could have we could have advanced one, but it's okay. Ah, there, these things happen. Here's Jack Mercury uh, coming off a home run from his first at bat. I'd be uh, go on, people, give it a go. Hey, good times. A fumble there from the catcher, and we managed to advance a base, uh, rather making uh, Mr. Mercury's at bat worthwhile already. Yeah. And these balls are all off target. Okay, three strikes now. And there's a walk. Loading the bases up. 
and that's uh, that's opening the uh, the program for Zoltan Zoltan to uh, to make some impact. Will he though? Uh, we don't know, but will he? We don't know. We don't know whether he will or not. We just don't know. But these uh, these pitches are now all over the place, and that's good. Zoltan. Perfect, perfect hit from Zoltan. And we're going to make a double off this. Uh, and that's super. Great work there from the team. And the score is now 6-5. to five. The belief in Bulldozer Power. Building strong as Julius Hardware steps up. And uh, we, I mean, I mean, look, he's even got stupid stance. Yeah, stupid face, stupid hair. And he's got a stupid stance. That was never a strike. No, suck it in there is hardware and justifying our hatred for him is Rudy Capslock. We've got an opportunity to, to come back to level pegging now. Um, but it won't be the end of the day. It won't be the end of the world if we don't and we won't. So uh, that wraps it up for Bulldozer Power here in this uh, third inning. But four runs scored and that keeps the game very much alive and, uh, and in contention. Rather justifying my faith. I think Danny's about to go and sit down. <laughs> They're keeping her in. All right. Well, her pitching's gone to pot already, but uh, that's fine. Yeah, good catch there, Julie. Yeah, you've got literally two jobs to do, you know? One, catch the pitches that are thrown at you. Two, hit the ball when it comes towards you. So far today, you've been bobbins at both. And that's why everybody hates you. Everyone hates you, Julius. Everyone, strikeouts, bubbly merchandise, good times, good work. Here's Flapjack Nope, he's, uh, he's one of two today, and uh, he's, uh, I mean, that's, that's the kind of numbers that you would expect from a batter. All right, Kojak's going to get that one, a uh, quick trot back to first, and that's out number two. Here's Dave Caustic, and uh, okay, he's, he's very good at the inside pitches. I say it every time, just to mentally remind myself not to pitch it inside. So we, we won't pitch it inside. That's it. Keep him outside. Yeah, they upset him. They throw his uh, they throw his chi all out of balance. And uh, you, you don't want your chi out. That's the last thing you want. If your chi's all wrong, you might as well just stay in bed. Uh, right, there you go. That's, that's nice. There it is. Good job, Bubbles. And uh, and a scoreless inning for once uh, from the Lingo Blend All-Stars as, as Mars Mullo comes up. Got himself a base hit first time round. That's very good. That's heartening to see. It's uh, it's a very positive day uh, when uh, when Mars Molo gets a base hit. Uh, ball two. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ball three. Don't swing. Right. Don't swing again. You sure? That was beautiful. Yeah, I know. Okay, he's out. But I mean. It, he, he puts some pressure on the pitcher there, and that's that's got to count for something. Is is bubbly, honestly, bubbles. You're going to get out here, all right. I know you had a great first at bat, but don't sweat it. Just do not panic in the slightest. Uh, with the uh, with the amount of arm this pitcher's got left, it's highly likely you're going to get a stroll. Pff, that felt strollish, did it? That one felt certainly strollish. No, that was sinking. All right, okay. Yeah, she swung at the right pitch there and uh, and didn't make it to first, but that's okay because she's the pitcher. Here's Cindy. It's tempting just to sacrifice Cindy, but no, I think we've we've had enough uh, last out stands uh, to uh, you know to to kind of stick with it for a bit. Uh, all right, no, it's fine because my thinking there was if she gets out straight away. Then it saves me some of the top end of my batting order for our next uh, our next challenge. You see, so that's worked out well, hasn't it? Yeah. How's your arm, Bubs? All right, Bubs's arm is is on the fade, but it's not yet uh, it's not yet awful. All right. Okay. On the fade. Yeah, that's technical language. Uh, it's what happens when your arm is not quite as not quite as crispy as it was at the start of the game, and that's a nice hit there. That's going to go for two. All right, Zoltan, nice throw. There you go. Try catching it once in a while, Mercury. I know it's got a bounce in there, but try judging that. That's the kind of thing that we practice in practice. Okay, now look, they got a double off that one. Where's your... I mean, we're, we're into the judgment zone here. We are into the judgment zone. And we don't want them to get as far 
as uh, as their pitcher. We want them. We want it to cost them if they want to sub their pitcher. Out number one. Okay, good time. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Is uh, Chris Biscuits uh, the shortstop? He's uh, he's he's back at 360 in the season so far, and that's that's pretty good numbers. But uh, quite a lot of this, of course, has come against me. All right, now it's out number two. And uh, and then you've got Michael Poems, who did get himself a home run today. Uh, okay, all right. Bubbly, you get to sit down after this inning. All right, I want this guy out. All right, we just don't want them to get round in their batting order as far as the pitcher. That's critical. That was not a great pitch, but he didn't bite on it anyway. Uh, let's try the change up shallow. That's nice. Ah. Uh, what, what next? Curveball sinky. All right, good. Good curveball sinky does the job. Oh, goes through Kojak's legs. Oh, you don't see that very. Oh, no. Oh, you really don't see that very often. Kojak muffing the flaming. Uh, the, the, the pick off there. What a disaster. That was a gimme. That was totally easy. Ah. Uh, Zoltan, 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 Zoltan. Good. Well done. We've achieved what we set out to achieve. Yes, we gave up a run, but that's absolutely fine. Oh, high pressure game. High pressure game. But we're very relaxed about it. It's Kojo, Mr. On. Waste no time in getting on base. That was close. Yeah, no, but it worked. Yeah. Look, this pitcher... Is is on fumes. Yeah. Alright. You the, the, our opportunity to light one up here is pretty strong. That's good. Okay. Runners one and two. This see this is this is kind of what I was thinking. Uh with the uh, uh with the Cindy Vapid Gambit in the uh, in the last inning is uh, is Jack Mercury and they're making the substitution. Hunter Marigold. See this works in our favour because they either have to pull him again. Um uh, when he comes round to bat, or uh, in, in which case they're, they're going deeper into their bullpen, or they keep him in and have a have a nothing at bat. You see, that's me thinking. Oh, that's right, inside. there you go. Yeah, go on, go on, go on, go on. Bang! That's promising. That's good enough. Go on, people. Run, 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 run. I don't think you're going to outpace the ball. Stay on third. Yeah. Ball has a power, everybody. Here's Zoltan. Uh, a good hit from Zoltan here, and uh, and the complexion of this game could shift dramatically. But I'm not putting any pressure on him. He's a big lad, uh, but has gentle feelings. Oh, that was the one. Oh, Zoltan. All right, okay, that's no, all right. No pressure. It's all good. All right, ball three. Good. We're soaking up the pitches. Zoltan gets a walk. Base is loaded now. Ooh, and with no outs, it falls to Julius Hardware to not ruin it for everybody. Oh, no. Yeah. Strike one. Julie, if you feel like striking out, go right ahead. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, go on, go on, go on. That's good, yeah. Ball four. And there's the walk and the tying run. It's a thing of beauty. Julius Hardware there, uh, who was, uh, we were prepared to let him strike out, uh, stood his ground and got the walk. That's a, that's awesome. As ball one. The confidence of Hunter Marigold is already shaken. This is good to see. Uh, it is Rudy Capslock who's currently uh, at plate, waiting to, uh, waiting to deliver something. But none of these pitches are going anywhere good. And it has to be said, then there's, a, there's another walks run. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, we've just taken the lead by doing nothing. I love it. Uh, right, okay. Still no outs, you understand. Yeah, now, now. How's, how's your moral now? Morale, I think you'll find the word is. Yeah, I know, but I was thinking demoralization, you see. And then I, I abbreviated that ever so briefly. Okay, strike two. All right, Mars, ready for it? I had a feeling that one might go. Mars there, getting himself a run, batted in, and uh, that will help his confidence. Uh, the engine keeps running. Here's Bubbly, and she gets to sit down because she's done enough for today. All right, Bubbles. What do you think? Hammock time? I could well be hammock time. Crampons? 
Oh, it would be a lovely time for crampons to hit one out of the stadium, wouldn't it? Do you think he's going to? No. No, I think he gets everyone out. Okay. Uh, what about Lynn? We could bring Mephisto on. Yeah, yeah, let's go with Mephisto. She's got great... She's, she's got slightly better contacts here, which means she's better at hitting the ball. Um, and therefore, all we need is just to keep the motor running. Or another walk. You know, either of these things are fine. That's not fine, though. Okay, it's just... No, it's all right. Only one out, that's fine. Here's Cindy. Cindy's only one of three today. Uh, we, go, we usually anticipate, you know, a lot of Cindy Vapid one-base hits. Shouldn't have swung at that one, Cind. But then again... Come on! Cindy Vapid with the Grand Slam and Bulldozer Power are uh, are in the building, everybody. Yeah, you saw, I mean, you saw those first couple innings and you thought, oh, God, it's going to be another thrashing. But we kept the faith. And uh, and by keeping the faith, we've uh, we've kept ourselves. Oh, that was a nice pitch that I could have could have had. Uh, it's okay. Whoa, gently does it. Uh, the pitcher is rattled, everybody. And uh, and that's that's what we want to see. Uh, if we can we can force them to make another pitching substitution this early on, that's that's a thing of beauty, and they will they won't be sticking with this guy for long. Failure there. He wants it. And uh, he has it. He put it on his Christmas list. Santa came down the chimney and went, there you go, son. Have a home run. And uh, that's that's beautiful. I don't think... I, don't, I think we've seen the last of Hunter Marigold for today. But let's find out. Jack Mercury, 2 of 2 today. He's had a home run, a double a walk. No, they're sticking with him. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's, that's on them. That's their choice to make. Yep. Yeah, no, no, you carry on, man. You just, just keep throwing yourself stupid. Yeah, that one worked. Yeah, you, oh, what a zinger. And uh, Jack Mercury with another nice hit. Okay. No, that's good. Oh, and the control is completely skew with. Right, we're going to have to... I'm gonna, yeah, okay, what's, what's occurring here? Oh. oh, no. Oh, come on! Well, okay, the controller got Jack Mercury out there. I'm just going to make sure... No, it's all right. It's all good. Right, I just want to make sure the controller was actually working. That's unfortunate. Well, hardware error there. Well, you always blame hardware, as you know. Uh, landed Jack Mercury, an unjustified out there that was clearly a, a, a double. Um, but that's... It's unfortunate for his stats... But uh, but at the end of the day, we're, we've already done well here. The game was not depending on him to uh, to have. Uh, thank you, Sultan Clown. Um, we weren't depending on him to be absolutely flawless, right? Let's bring in Jeff Conservative. Well, we we put ten past them there, and at the end of five innings, it is Bulldozer Power fifteen and the Lingo Blend All Stars seven. Oh, I see they kept Marigold in because he's up to bat. Uh, okay, fine. Right, this is uh, this is Perry Rage quit. Uh, first to face off against the Conservative. Now they're going to be the ones who are, are going to be in need of putting in a little bit of, you know, a little bit of positive encouragement into the team because uh, uh, they need it. Jeff Conservative there striking out Rage quit. Who rage ragefully chucks his bat at the floor is Marigold, who I suspect will see substituted. No. Oh, wow. They're keeping him in. Flipping heck. They must be dead. Their bullpen must be a complete disaster area. He's going to get a base hit there, though. Yeah. This, these short inside the diamond uh, bounces that they're doing, we're having a, we're having a, some problems in fielding those today. Um, and that's, that's not, that's not perfect. But that's okay. That's all right. We've, oh, no, Jeff! Jeff! They killed Jeff! No way was that in. Jeff? Yeah, Jeff's, Jeff's broken. Oh, no. Well, okay, I was talking about ballpen problems, and we've we've got our own now. Oh, dear. Yeah, because we ain't got a lot of depth here. All right, okay, Disneyland. Let's go. Yeah, they killed Jeff. Oh, man. That's, that's going there. Do that. Do this. 
All right, we only got the one out, but that's okay. One out is a good out. All right, here's Chief Otto Parts. Uh, he's got good contact versus right-handed pitchers. Okay, that one's going to go as far as Zoltan. They will get a run here. Um, and that's, uh, I mean, it's to be expected. We can, uh, we can allow a run here and there as long as we don't uh, we don't fall back into sloppiness and, and give away the victory here because we're, we're sat in a commanding position. But uh, as has been demonstrated in all three of the games, uh, that's gone. Oh, crikey. As I was about to say, uh, that as demonstrated in all three games that have been played in this series, both teams are very capable of scoring. Ooh, dear. Yeah. Yeah, oh dear. Composure, people. Composure. Hold it together. We only need one out. Let's make it happen here. All right. Let's try one. All right. Okay. Yeah. That one's promising, but uh, Mullo, have you got it or what, man? There you go. Mars Mullo picks it off at the fence. And uh, with four runs batted in, Lingo Blender pulled themselves back into the game a little. But we can advance our advantage if we can advance it. So we're going to try that. Here is here is Marigold. He's still rattled. And uh, Hardware's out on one ball. He's having, he's having that kind of day. But he's, we hate him, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, there we go. Caps Lock getting it done and gets on first base. Oh, that wasn't Mullo. I know. Who was that? I don't know. It was someone. No, this, this is Mullo. You weren't talking about Mullo, though. You were talking about Mullo making a catch at the fence a minute ago, and that's why you're now confused. Ah! That's not a great bit of anything there. Out number two. And uh, here's Mark Disneyland, who we will be leaving in. <laughs> we, we don't have... We haven't got enough people to let him clear off, but there we go. He, he puts in a nice one there. Oh, this is Chansey. This was not a good idea, but it was a good idea. There's the run. And the pitcher bats in a run. Super. Here's Cindy Vapid. Runner on first. Two outs. Ball one. Okay. All right. Strike one. Yeah, if you say so. It's high. She's gone for it again, but she's going to be caught because it hasn't got the length, this one. And uh, Bulldozer a power with one run in that inning. Uh, it's okay. We've, we've we've still got a five-run cushion leading as we do, 16 to 11, as we head into the uh, seventh inning. And it will be Michael Poem, who is uh, Matt Poems, even who is having a really good day. Uh, yeah, I know. Dog, what are you going to do? Well, I'll just pitch at him, and if he gets a hit, he gets a hit. It's not like there's anyone else on base at the moment, so uh, he'll do what he does. Can Mullo get there in time? Yes. Hey, we've got out there best batter for the day. Here's Jenny J. Sonar, uh, who scored a walk earlier on today, uh, when Bubbly's concentration was not quite what it should be. Um, but since then, she hasn't really accomplished very much, and that's not about to change now. Out number two. Good. They only have a few at-bats to go, and if we can keep this pressure on then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll win. And winning here is pretty important to our seasonal hopes because the uh, the end of the season is going to come down to uh, these two teams as to which one is going to make the playoff berth from this division. Strike two. Nice work there, Diz. Can you put them away? Well, you put it where I wanted it. Mercury. Over the first. And away we go. All out. No score. In your face, there, LBA. Uh, right, bottom of the seventh now. Kojak's up. Three or four today. Three singles. One run batted in. And uh, they're making their pitching changes. Quebec Spire, whose mood is already not solid. Perry Rage quit. The catcher has been taken out in place of Vigacy Viking. And, uh, well, we'll see. we'll see if either of these two characters can bring anything to their collective party. Uh, Spire is already having a has already got a bit of confidence knock. I think we saw him last week where we destroyed this team. You could have just left that, you know. Could have just left that. You had three balls. You could have just left it. That's ah, life. Ulysses failure, everybody. Wastes no time at all in hitting that one over the fence into the car park. Uh, where uh, it went, oh, where have I left my keys? Go, oh, here they are. Starts the keys, into the car, and drives all the way home. 
It's his third home run of the season, second of the day. Ulysses failure there, delivery. Uh, here is uh, Jack Mercury, uh, who has had the kind of game that we expect from him all the time. He is supposed to be a premium hitter, so uh, some premium hitting is kind of what we hope to see. And he has done that reasonably well so far today. That one, though, not so much. And he's out. Big ol' Zoltan. He's only he's had a walk and he's had a double. But he's, uh, he's only batting a third so far. And he really didn't need to swing at that one. But he chose to swing at it. How's that worked out for him? It's worked out poorly. Okay, top of the eighth now. Uh, BDP up 17 to 11. This is a monster of a game. Here is uh, Viggy T Viking, who's who's come in to see what she's got up her sleeve, other than her arm. Right, here you go. Strike one. Catcher, see, catcher. Cindy, thank you. To Kojak, thank you. Out. Marvelous. Here's Flatjack. Nope. The uh, the leadoff batter for the team. No, can't be. No, can't be the leadoff batter. No, it can't be. All right, he's not the leadoff batter. He's just a batter. That's up. Yeah, ball one. Uh, Mark Disneyland so far maintaining his composure pretty well. Uh, he's twenty pitches deep uh, in the game. All right, two strikes, uh, one ball. Fox and Mark Fox him. Didn't necessarily fox him, but did deliver the kind of pitch that uh, ended up with Zoltan catching the ball. Rounds to Dave Caustic. He likes the inside pitches. All right. Okay. And I think uh, he's o he is. Well, he's, I don't think. I know. He's, he's 0 for 4 today. And that's because we're not throwing him any inside pitches. Kojak, catch this one. Good job. Out number three. And the clock ticks down to five minutes to midnight for, uh, for Lingo Blend, who failed to get a score in that inning. And here's Julius Hardware, who, uh, well, you know. Well, I mean, you know, you, you know how it is. It's Julius Harper. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Boom. Yeah, nice. Nice boom there. Jenny J. Sonar picking the ball off there in, uh, in centre field. Here's Ru Rudy Capslock. One of three today. He's not great. Uh, but that's okay. He's not. We're not expecting him to be great. He was cheap. Uh, but he has. he's found a place on the fielding side of things. Even if that place is not brilliant and his batting isn't all that either. Demonstra exhibit A there. Uh, here's Mars Molo. Two of four today. Couple of singles. His confidence is still lacking. Though. Oh, come on, man. You pull yourself together. You're on the team already. I'm not going to boot you. Although, you know, when the end of the season rolls around, I certainly will do if I, give, if I get a chance. Uh, out number three. And uh, the, only the second scoreless inning of the game. Four and eight, both going for nothing, and uh, this is it. This is the uh, this is the one that matters. Top of the ninth, Lingo blend to score. They trail by what five? I think. Oh no, they trail by six. Okay, Mark, just keep you calm, man. Just keep it calm. Keep doing as you have been, and we'll get them. Okay. All right, and that one's uh, that one's a gift for Ulysses' failure. Who has the catch? We assume nothing. We assume, we assume. Here's Justine Vanderpol. She's had a very good game. Three or four, a home run, a couple of singles. She's playing remarkably well, um, and that's that's fine. She's allowed to. People are allowed to play well on occasion. Uh, the sun shines on the derriere of a dog on occasion, as the uh, as the saying goes. And uh, I mean, that's rather like saying that the uh, the stopped watch is right twice a day. But it's slightly more crass. There we are. Kojak! Oh, it's your dog, Kojak! Just flipping, made the plays, girl. Come on! Well, fortunately, Cindy was there to cover. Kojak there couldn't quite keep hold of it. But uh, we got the out anyway. Here's Michael Poems, who is arguably the strongest performer on their team today. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll endeavour to make him disappear. It's almost tempting to walk him, you know, but we don't do that. Nope, not purposefully. Accidentally. Oh, you know it. That's straight down the middle. It couldn't be bothered. Couldn't be bothered swinging at one. I, I completely miss what's it did. And, oh, there you go. Two balls, two strikes. This is it for the ball game. All right, Mark Disneyland. Pressure's on. That's good enough. 
to Mercury, to Mr. On, and that's job done. Bulldozer Power winning the series. Three to two, three, two, two to one. There were three games. We won two of them. Thank you. Whew, what a game. What a great game. What a, what a day to be alive. What a game. And uh, you only have to look at that fifth inning to kind of go, that's the, that's the business, that is. Uh, Bulldozer Power keeping the faith, making it happen, getting it done. And uh, yeah, no, this is this is solidly good behaviour. A little bit worrying the, the mistakes from Kojak at first base there, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's okay. Bubbly merchandise with five strikeouts. Very nice. Uh, and a save awarded to Mark Disneyland. We'll, we'll catch up on, on Jeff Conservative and see how he's doing, because uh, he may well be dead. Um, but that's, that's not good. No. Your three stars of the day, Justine Vanderpol. Well, I think she earned it, frankly. Uh, two home runs for Ulysses' failure. Yes. And Cindy, who hit a third home run uh, for five runs, batted in. Those are your three stars in this game. We've got eight games to catch up on, so we'll catch up on them. Let's do that now. Uh, first up, you've got the Red Star Pathfinders against Failurewood Hills. Carlo the Curious is, uh, is pitching for the Pathfinders. Doesn't it look good? I like the way his hair matches the uniform. Very nicely. Actually, my... I don't, both these uniforms work very nicely. Well done, teams. Anyway, let's simulate the game. Uh, well, it's close. It's not, though, is it? It's close-ish. Failurewood Hills winning that one 7-4. to four. Uh, Peninsula Transport on 2-3 and three are taking on the 5-0 and oh Port Miggins Pirates. Willie Fanfest is pitching for the Pirates. Uh, Tintin Hollywood's having a particularly fine season so far with four home runs. Whoo, good number. Uh, Let's see. Well, Peninsula start the scoring, but the Pirates are quickly back on top. Uh, that one ended up going to extra innings, and importantly for the T Peninsula Transport team, they managed to uh, instigate the first loss on the Pirates. The Beekeepers are facing the Erg Mellon Flex Chroniclers, two and three. The score for both teams, uh, the, or the results, the standings, the what? Play the game. Uh, it is the Beekeepers that are away first. Uh, Chronicler's pulling it back, but the Beekeepers, after 15 innings, managed to win that one. 6-5. to five. Hoping to make it back to the final, of course. Beekeepers, the other finalist team, last time around. Uh, the Sunshine Fun Bus are playing the Wretched Minstrels. You're looking at Burt Violence pitching for the Fun Bus, who are 4-1 and one at the moment. Flinging Fuegas, uh, former Bulldozer Power player, pitching for the Minstrels. Can they? Will they? Do they? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, and it's the fun bus racking up a good score early on and then building on that score to uh, make this one incredibly one-sided with a 12-4 victory. Grazer Ridge are playing the Nomads. Nomads only 5-1 and one so far this season, having dropped a single game. Ursula Fandango pitching for them. Carly Cola on the mound for Grazer Ridge. And uh, the Nomads are uh, giving lessons, it seems. Winning that one 11-2 having dominated throughout the entire game. Cheerio Inc. against the Sports Ball Union. Neither team having got off to the brightest of starts this year. Uh, Jack Snaggles, the, uh, the leading batter for the Sports Ball Union, will be hoping to turn that around. It's Mervyn Pinerider who's pitching for them, and he sucks. Let's see how that goes. Well, taking advantage of a bad pitch, of Cheerio Inc. there. 6-4, to four, the final score. The Big Keepers are back in action again against the Picks Creek Miners. Uh, the Miners are a new team in the league, and they're, they're running a balanced setup. They've got Brain Pukora pitching for them, and he's nothing. Nothing good, not even slightly. Uh, rock hands for the Beekeepers isn't all that either, but he is at least capable of throwing the ball. And that one finishes 2 to nothing in favour of the Keepers. The Mongolia Sea Raiders are taking on the uh, Wretched Minstrels. Minstrels we saw in action a moment ago, and their pitching uh, starter is going to be Tobin Jocular. Shamrock Bubblejet, the former bulldozer power player is uh, is in form as is scooter Boam, the first baseman uh, over on the sea raiders it's hand sanitizer is the uh, top dog on the pitching side of things with uh, i'm pretty sure it's poly babylon but i can't remember off the top of my head and hatchet malibu the former bulldozer power player so i spread them around you know so that i can remember a little bit of their life stories when we're talking about scores and things uh, shamrock was actually a pretty good player for us you know pretty good player we didn't cut him uh, without thinking it through but uh oh well one of those teams won that game can't remember which anyway our next back matchup is going to be against the peninsula transport team and we are on the road oh dangerous uh vivian crumble is up in the pitching rotation oh dangerous let's do a quick look at our league leading table 
We'll turn our attention to batting this time around to avoid going through all the stats at once. And the batting averages of Kojak Misteron and Cindy Vapid are best in the league. Uh, you've got Charlie Ostrich for the Ov City Axemen uh, and uh, Linda Van Spackle for the Grunt Auto Group with zero heat for the Beekeepers uh, rounding out. OK, you've got Exponential Tyrone on the medics as well as Tide at point five. Not bad. Home runs, you're looking at Tintin, Hollywood and Rock Justice, both of whom have five so far this season. Uh, the Minstrels also appear a couple more times in this top ten chart with Shamrock, Bubble Jet and Pingu Specific. Ulysses Failure gets a nod. A little way down the table. When it comes to runs batted in, Cindy Vapid with 10 is looking pretty solid. But it is, again, Rock Justice for the uh, uh, for the Minstrels, who is, is top of the chart. You will see a few of these names repeating, obviously, because if their batting average is good, chances are so is their RBI. On base percentage, Kojak Mistron with 680. Nice. Like it. Keep it up. Uh, slugging percentage, you've got Cindy Vapid and Ulysses are in there. Uh, on base percentage, it's Polly Babylon. Look, I was right. Hey, Polly Babylon, Exponential Tyrone, Charlie Ostrich and Pingu Specific leading on base plus slugging. Nice. When it comes to hits, it's uh, Cindy Vapid, Linda Van Spackle, the same names coming around again and again and again. But they're performing in one area, so they will perform in other areas as well. When it comes to players who really should be, re you know, taking a close look at themselves in a the mirror and wondering whether or not... They are the ones who should be playing baseball. Mary Ruthless, Scrungy Gubbins, MSJN, Felipe Flexing, and Tola Cram and Sherry Remix have uh, struck out more times. I've been Colonel Failure. We'll be back next week as, uh, as BDP take on Peninsula Transport. We need to keep the pressure on. Let's have a quick look at the standings. There you go. There's the standings. See you next time. Providing you've subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, there's no guarantee we'll ever see each other again. Thanks very much for watching. Cheerio.